something for you to think about. Point one, during lockdown mode, many of us, including myself, are able to have meetings, uh, get onto webinars, get onto other formats like YouTube and ha have some serious learning. So, so the learning process has not been arrested at all and, and productivity also in many ways is enhanced in a very different way. But what about the majority of South Africans who have no access to Wi-Fi? They cannot do any of the things I've just mentioned. Now, we talk about the issue of the land and how access to land gives you equity, gives you wealth, and perhaps generational wealth as well. Well, it should, right? In the same way, the South Africa of 2020 and beyond, and it's been proven now because of the lockdown, right, the need to have access to communication lines is critical. Now, Wi-Fi uh, or great fiber gives you that. The absence of that perpetuates a digital divide, a serious serious digital divide. So my point is, in the South Africa of the post-lockdown phase, critically, access to Wi-Fi has got to be seen as an essential service and available to all South Africans free of charge. Of course, the big question, the next question is, well, who is going to pay for it? But if it's that important, we should be having that debate. I'm Ashraf Ganda, and that's my point.